Welcome to Minimog Tutorials. In this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know to set up the header section. A store's header plays a vital role in branding your site, helping visitors navigate, and displaying your most important pages. From your Shopify admin, go to the online store and select Customize the theme you want to make changes to. Then, in the theme editor, navigate to the header section. Now, let's start with the header design. Depending on your needs and the nature of your brand, select a suitable design for your header. You can either have your logo and menu in one line or two. I will get back to these settings later after I've finished adding logos and menus to my header. You can use images or simply just plain text to showcase the store's logo. There are options to add different logos for desktop view, mobile view, and a transparent header. Simply select an image or upload the image to your Shopify files and get the file link. After selecting the logos, tweak the toggle to adjust the logo width if needed. Let's continue with adding menus to the header to create the store's navigation. Here, you can add a main menu and a menu for mobile view separately. Then, I am going to set the first level menu items to be uppercased. Now I have my logos and menus added, I will go back to the header design to see how it looks on different options. Remember to add a secondary menu if you want your menu and logo in one line with the logo in the center. Select the default container type of your header and decide if you want to make it sticky on top or not. You can also make your header transparent on top, depending on your need. In this case, make sure that you have uploaded a logo for the transparent header in the logo settings. You can also add some add-on buttons to the header like a search bar, a cart icon to let customers get to the cart page, a wishlist icon, and so on. Do note that to completely link your wishlist icon and comparison icon in the header section, you need to create a new page in your Shopify admin and assign suitable templates for that new page. From your Shopify admin, go to the online store and pages. Then, select Add Page. Give your new page a name. I want to create a page for my wishlist, I will then assign the wishlist template for this page. Do the same with the comparison page. It's worth noting that only templates from the published theme can be selected. Therefore, make sure you have published your Minimog theme. After that, go back to your theme editor and navigate to Theme Settings, Additional Page. Then, add the two pages you have created. Now, I want to show an account icon in my header. This allows customers to log in or sign up for an account. After selecting the option, save the changes. Then, access your Shopify settings and navigate to the Checkout and Accounts section. In the Customer Accounts settings, select Edit next to the Account Experience settings and set the login experience of your store as show login link in the header of online store and at checkout. Click save. Now refresh your store and check it. If you want to add a language selector or a country selector in your header, there are a few steps that should be taken in Shopify admin. For more information on the process, check out the resources linked in the description below. The header section also comes with a top bar in case you want to show a message or extra information about your site. To add or edit your store details information like phone number, email, or a find store page, go to theme settings, store contact. Or if you don't need a top bar, simply click on that block and remove it. That's all for now. If you have any questions or need help with anything, check out our resources linked in the description or contact us via our live chat. Thank you for watching.